Hello and welcome to the premiere video for Indiana Diecast Racing. It's my hope to share my flavor of diecast racing inspired by the likes of 3D Bot Maker, Sub4RA, and numerous other great channels. Our story began as an annual tradition of father-son elimination drag races in our living room. As COVID confined us to the house this year, we stumbled upon YouTube diecast racing, uh, in particular the 3D Bot Maker Ferrari tournament, and immediately started to hunt for fat track components. Over the last two months, our track has gradually expanded as we've added Coroplast, Ogmodo, and even Crash Racers components. During that time, we hosted a Facebook Live tournament and even took a stab at YouTube videos with a head-to-head -head tournament, both events for our Cub Scout pack. Before we jump into the racing, I wanted to give a quick tour of our track. Le Cellier, which literally means the cellar, was named because it was built in a basement. It's nearly 5 feet tall and roughly 48 feet long, featuring a homemade manual starting gate, two hairpin turns, a tricky triangle, and a long final straightaway that funnels into a single lane finish. As cars exit the starting block, they follow one of two single lane orange tracks straight into the first hairpin turn. Coming back the opposite direction, the track is now two and a half lanes wide and goes downhill into the second hairpin turn. A third, long straightaway, takes cars to a roughly 135 degree turn and an overpass leading into the tricky triangle. A car's entry into the triangle is hugely important as the track slope is much flatter and every minor mistake has a huge impact on speed. Coming out of the triangle, cars transition first to Ogmodo then to Coroplast track pieces on the longest straightaway of the entire track. A driver's ability to maintain a straight line is hugely important as traction is at a minimum. Many races are won or lost in this segment. Finally, cars are funneled into a single lane just prior to the finish line, so mayhem at the finish line is almost guaranteed. Now that I've introduced you to the track, let's take a look at the cars competing in this event. 